Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. Today I'm actually just stepped out of DockerCon, and Mark Rosinovich was just on stage talking about a bunch of stuff that Azure's been doing and Microsoft has been doing with Docker. So to give you a little bit, and I'm, we'll put actually the blog post down here that I wrote, um, just to give you a little bit of a sense of some of the things that we announced. Well, first of all, Mark showed a multi-platform application on stage. So he showed both a Linux container and a Windows Server container up on stage, uh, building sort of an app all together, which has been really exciting. Um, and uh, if you didn't catch it, actually we, we showed for the first time Windows Server containers uh, at build with Docker Run. And so we actually launched those using Docker, which was fantastic. The other things that Mark showed today uh, was uh, Visual Studio Online integration with Docker. And so it actually can deploy and update using Compose. Uh, and so he showed some of the, some of the preview features there uh, to be able to do and manage all of that sort of development environment using Docker, which is really, really exciting stuff. A few other things. Uh, through Azure, you can now deploy through the Azure Marketplace experience, you can actually deploy full Docker images from Docker Hub. And so you can go in and pick around and configure them and set them up and they'll actually deploy and get going. So it's a really great way to get started with Docker. You can play around with it. Uh, it's very visual. It's, uh, it's really nice, actually, uh, if, you, if you ask me, um, uh, which you did because you're watching this show. Uh, and so there, it is quite nice. And then the last thing, actually, that, that we announced um, was the addition of a uh, Docker Trusted Registry uh, VM image uh, to our gallery. So you can now deploy this image uh, and it makes it easier for you to actually manage and deploy images behind the firewall, right? And so you can actually manage, configure them, um, and uh, this image is now available for you to deploy. So if you want to uh, deploy and lock down sort of your, your corporate network, uh, it enables you to have the same power flexibility that Docker Hub gives you, uh, but again, behind that firewall. And so it's a great set of stuff. Um, it's really an exciting uh, exciting sort of a lineup that Mark walked through, um, and uh, it's been really great uh, and really fun. And so it's a great experience working with the Docker guys, and uh, it's been a, lot, a blast. And I look forward to actually the next wave of stuff coming. You know, Windows Server containers on the way out, and the Hyper-V containers on the way out, uh, both, of course, with integration deep with Docker. And so we'll see a whole lot more coming over the rest of this year, uh, and, uh, and of course, into next year as well. And so looking forward to it. Thank you so much for your time. Make sure you check out the blog and the details. And uh, with that, if you have any questions, any comments, uh, please uh, go ahead and send them to me uh, on uh, the Twitter uh, handle, uh, hashtag AzureTWC, uh, and make sure that you uh, get those questions over to me. So thanks again for your time. Beautiful day, and uh, have a good Tuesday. Okay, cool. You ready? You're set. Good. Clap.